Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another part of Watch Dogs. My name is Trey. My name is Chris. Tell me how to and get in the last part, what we did was basically blackmail Bedbug Tyrone, Mr. Tyrone. That's pretty much what we did. And now he's he's not gonna mess with us. He he he's not gonna he's not gonna do anything stupid because he knows that we can get him killed very easily. Either we can kill him ourselves, or we can just show everything we have to Iraq and he can kill him. You know, I with characters like that, right. I think that they just in general are I'll be in touch. Be more ready. easy easily blackmailed. Yeah. It's especially scared for, especially for like yeah. Scared for, characters are easily blackmailed. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like especially for for Bedbug because he's go? so he's like deathly afraid of his cousin. I would be too. Yeah, I mean, well, guys like gang leader, arms dealer. Let's talk about the access. Because Iraq is way. freaking kind of crazy. He is really crazy. Actually, it really, it really seems like this this particular game really plays up the insanity factor on all of the villains, and even Aiden just a little bit. Hard to forget. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, you look at Lucky Quinn, old guy, clearly has Alzheimer's or whatever. Yeah. You know, he's he's losing it. He doesn't. He's. It's not all quite there. Well, he. I don't think he was ever quite there. But then he you've got then you've got Jordy who's not right in the head, and then you've got <laughs> Damien who's not right in the head, and then you've got the little kid. What's his that face? Jack or Jack? Yeah, who's not right in the head? Exactly my thought. His sister. The insanity. The sister who's you know just she's completely calm and collected as she's being you know held against her will. So she's not right in the head. Everybody is not right in the head in this game. Clara. Well, Clara. I think she's the most um, normal. Well, not normal, but it's because you never see her. That's true. Like you never really hear. She's from probably her. sitting there, her. like cutting herself to pictures of Aiden, <laughs> thinking, "If you don't love me, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Cutting people, like cutting yourself, is not a joke. It's a good day. <laughs> Self harm is not a joke. Oh my god. Oh my god. If you don't love me. <laughs> I'm just yes. saying. I'm just saying. Everybody that we have had significant contact with in this game has been absolutely crazy, One including Bad Bug, yeah. who thinks that he has has it in with a lot of girls. Since we discussed that at the end of the last part about Bad. how Bed Bug thinks he's a player. That, at least, at least player. that's what he told his grandmother. You know what? You don't tell your grandmother you're a player. Come on. What the heck? Carefully. She probably just looked at him. Yeah, that's nice, dude. Anything, <laughs> that's be working an angle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Agenda. So now what okay. are we doing? Right now, I need that briefcase. Um, Hidden briefcase. Is it that the briefcase that has the red on it from that guy's skull? That is the briefcase. Okay. And they're is gonna it, do this like old school trade-off thing. Like You'll see. You'll see. I think I failed this once before though. Soldier for the Chicago South Club. Are you gonna show your failure like you did last time? Yeah, yeah. Because it, it I pro like honestly I probably should have taken it out, but I'm just gonna leave it. Probably. <laughs> but um Well, you don't wanna take out everything because then these parts would be incredibly short. Yeah, that's true. Like this part for me at first was really difficult because you can't because you can't tell where the uh, the other Chicago club member is because uh, Chicago it, Ted sh yeah because Chicago Ted just doesn't show you except for whenever he goes to the person and sets the case down then you know but where I failed this several times before I slowly figured out where they are I can't believe it Quinn's guys are nothing like failure to make you. Learn the, what's really goes on. Exactly. Never seen one of these. So here's a question. Yep. Speaking on the lines of failure, I actually was thinking about this. Since we don't really discuss our video game experience too much with each other at the moment, what is the hardest? Maybe not necessarily the hardest game, but the part in a game that has given you the most trouble. Like in in any game that you've ever played. What is the hardest part or level or whatever that you just like it, that you actually completed too? Not something that you just like did Tried twice to do, and it was like, too man. hard and you just stopped. Like that you actually completed. What is the hardest thing you've ever done? Um, Metal Gear Solid was just trying to do uh, the uh, newer one, Metal Gear Solid uh, Ground Zero. Whenever I had that for the Xbox One, it was. Um, I forgot. I, I'm trying to remember what mission it was. 
Can you do that? I think it was I had to go in and rescue my one of I'm my uh, what are they called? Friends, I guess. Does don't, does he have friends? Don't. Yes, friends. I don't know. Does he have friends? Oh God, but I had to basically just go in and get her and get out without being seen. And it took me forever because uh, the the layouts of where the uh, guards are they're like hard for me to memorize because there's so many there there are so many guards in that game that you have to sneak past and it's ridiculous it's so hard but eventually I figured it out and I and I beat it but it took me literally like that mission took me like a couple days because I would play it and <laughs> I would just get so frustrated I would quit never play the game again until like the next day and then play it constantly until I beat it. I'll tell you what it was for me. For me, um, it it wasn't actually the, it was not the hardest game I've ever played. Yep. And it was not even it was a combination of because of the fact that I was as young as I was and as inexperienced with games as I was at the time, and also the fact that um, just like the the nature of it. I was it actually I have two experiences of that. The first one was Mega Man X doing a yeah. Buster only run. Yeah. That was bogus. I bet. Uh, and that was my un- unintentional self imposed challenge Wait. as a kid. But uh, what Quinn's really uh, the one that shit. sticks into my mind was there's a boss really? fight in Kingdom Is Hearts One. Yep. Uh, where you fight Riku, whose uh, body has been taken over by us. Ansem, Anybody watching through a and every or who at the time you view as Ansem. Software. Yep. So, at that particular fight, the one inside Hollow Bastion at the at the gate the, where he's got the where he's got his Keyblade, that was obnoxiously hard. At the, at the time, for me, I mean, I could beat it no problem now, yeah. but, like, at the time, because his attacks were so fast, and the fact that I didn't have, you know, guarding and parrying down, and certain ones of his attacks, I legitimately thought you couldn't... Like, you just couldn't dodge You couldn't it. block, or okay. you couldn't dodge. Now, after, you know, after I've played it several times, and I know the patterns and everything yep. I can I it's not as bad now but like to me that was the hardest thing I've ever done in a video game yeah I I seriously it took me I was I was stuck at that boss fight for three weeks and then I stopped playing the game for six months oh my gosh and then I came back to it and beat it I think on my third try <laughs> I bet you were just like I was so done like <laughs> by the time after the third after the third week of consistently like every day i would go back to this boss fight yep and it was so it was like it was so brutal on my you know on your mental faculties at the time because it's like you not only have to watch the 15 minute cutscene before then yeah that drags on forever that you can't skip and then you've got this boss fight so it's it it was really painful to to do yeah the case on a boat heading up river of course, you know, after you, I beat it, it was one of the most satisfying things I've ever done. What do you have nearby? <laughs> My guess, this will be a short trip. So we're chasing after this. Yeah, this, um, this mission kind of kind of annoyed me a little because, uh, like, as, 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 as you saw before, I kind of, like, I got through it without being seen, but right when I got on the bike and started following the boat, I failed the mission because the person on the boat saw me. That well, makes sense. This is like, what the crap? <laughs> People drive bikes on the sidewalk all the time. Come on. How am I any different? If it was like a moped or something, that would make more sense. Yeah. Now, here's a question. Why isn't this bike, why isn't this bike broken yet? I don't <laughs> well, know. that too. <laughs> um, I, was, I was actually wondering, like, as far as your gameplay <laughs> is concerned, uh, do you do, do... How is Watch Dogs in terms of, like, side quest? It's like, like how, how are the side quests on it? The side quests, um... Or are there any side quests? Well, like, you mean like side, um... Like the stuff that I told you about, like convoys and... And all that? I mean, missions that you can undertake that are not part of the main story. Okay, yeah. Like, there are some missions, like, um... Decrypting missions, where you have to find all of the uh, QR codes. And then after that, it'll, like... 
like I haven't done it all yet because it it, it kind of annoyed me some of them but um, like after that uh, another mission will pop up where you you'd have to go and figure out where, where that information came from and and take out the guy and there's another one where like I could I I, I, I uh, completed this one where you have to uh, find all these bodies and it's a serial killer and he's just killing random women for no reason whatsoever and you have to uh, get all the information from the bodies and figure out where the guy is and just go take him out and, well first figure out why he's doing it then and then take him out just like stuff like that it's like it's not really hard but it's um, it's just like tedious work because um, sometimes the information will pop up on your uh, map for you to go like just to go to it and find it and other times it'll take a little bit for it to to uh to a pop-up on your map and that'll get kind of annoying how does it uh affect the game's length though um i'd say it probably adds uh, not too like not too too many hours more but uh, like a few hours more worth of gameplay you've been spotted yeah this is now what? Try number three. That three, you four. Or Why didn't you edit these stuff out? I. Hey, longer <laughs> episodes. Come on. Uh, just whatever. I think now I'm just gonna like take everybody out. <laughs> just gonna go in all Solid Snake and instead of Rambo. No, I'm gonna go in all Rambo instead of Solid Snake. Oh, Rambo. Ah, yes, the great. How Rambo the great. <laughs> Something he was like a king. I'm pretty sure Rambo was a king. Why am I just standing here? It's your Trey, Trey, Trey. We're gonna have a little talk about. Somehow how you have communicated to my former self. We're gonna have to have a little talk about how to edit properly. And Aiden can't shoot worth crap. <laughs> I wasted all of that focus <laughs> for no reason. The guy was standing completely still. <laughs> you just shot that guy late. I think he's used six shots. <laughs> oh. At the end. <laughs> one shot, one kill. <laughs> I, I hit him with one bullet, so it's all good. One oh, shot, one God. kill. <laughs> no, Aiden, that's not how it works. <laughs> you shot him 12 times. I know, but I only hit him once, so it counts. This guy's just sitting there drinking a beer, thinking he is, thinking he's safe. You think you're safe with that beer? Is he drinking a beer? I think. I can't see him. Beer can't protect you. The gun in his other hand can. Silent takedown. No one is safe from me. <laughs> no one. I like how whenever you do go into a restricted area, he pulls up his uh, turtleneck. Although it's not a turtleneck. His bandana i'm just gonna say it's a turtleneck his face covering he's a really stylish man his bandit cloth <laughs> turtleneck bandit turtleneck bandit <laughs> that's what aiden is now he's that a turtleneck like, bandit that sounds like uh something off of home alone turtleneck bandit you know I, <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it it really does though i haven't seen that in a long time, long time. now i'm not entirely sure what this briefcase has to do with um what I'm doing because I didn't even pay attention whenever I was actually playing it. There's a guy this guy. You. Hey, hey, I see someone. It's okay. He's gonna die soon. Guest list from the case. He's gonna die. Soon. There's, you, there's 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 no one else chance. to help. Well, there is. No <laughs> Hiding can't save you now. Identity. <laughs> No. Oh, now I know okay. what the briefcase is for. The briefcase was for it so he can try to find somebody's identity to use for the auction. Because he can't just walk up in there like, oh, I made Pierce, I want to buy a woman. <laughs> I mean, well, he could if he wanted to, but. <laughs> That's the one. Drop trow. <laughs> this is how this is going down. <laughs> I'm Aiden Pierce, and I want woman. Clara, if I'm stealing his Except he's got to use the vigilante voice. My cover. I'm Aiden Pierce. I can't keep him alive. I want a woman. I want woman. No, I guess not. Well, he has Clara. She, I guess she's not woman enough for him. She knows how to hack, so she's off the list. Yeah. <laughs> he needs someone. There's, see, there's... He knows 
Nobody's going to the potential for Psycho X's when he sees it. It's supposed to pick up his yeah. car at the dealership. And he knows she oh, will right. be one. <laughs> it's like, if, if this doesn't work out, yeah, I'm screwed. <laughs> She's like, just trying to find him and kill him. <laughs> Anyways, so that's the end of this part. We'll see you guys next time.